Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you and I worship you. I glorify you, dear Lord. I lift you high up because you have promised. If you are lifted up, you shall draw men to yourself. Do only what you can do, my Savior, for the glory and honor of thy name. I dip myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet so that God, whatever I share, Lord, will be protected by the blood of Jesus that speaketh better things. Even for my viewers and my listeners, I cover them with the blood of Jesus against any attacks of the enemy that brings ignorance, that brings destructions, that waste time. Take over, dear Lord. And I pray that I may decrease as you increase in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I am broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. The title of my message will be Worthy of All the Praises is the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God, which was the best sacrifice that God could have ever given for you. In times of old, times immemorial, whenever there was sin atonement, there had to be a sacrifice of a lamb, but God decided to sacrifice his own so that we can follow ourselves as long as we trust in this name of Jesus. My words of reference will be from the book of Revelation chapter 5. First, I'm going to read verse 11 to 14 in Jesus' name from New King James Version. The Bible says, Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels aloud the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them I heard saying, Blessings and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. Then the four living creatures said, Amen. And the twenty-four elders fell down and worshipped him who lives forever and ever. We see so many times repeated forever and ever. That is to say, in times of sorrow, the Lamb of God is worthy to be worshipped. In times of joy, the Lamb of God is worthy to be worshipped. In times of loneliness, the Lamb of God is worthy to be worshipped. What does that mean? Uh, we praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him when the sun goes down. In Sunday school, we used to sing many times, and we would sing with the actions, saying, Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Try to visualize that from the setting of the sun to the, no, no, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, there is praises going up, saying, worthy, worthy is the lamb that was slain. Glory and power belong to that name of the Lamb of God. Does that mean that there are no problems? Does that mean there is no hunger there is? But because he's worthy, he's beyond what we can see, we still worship him anyway. And that's why I am so much encouraged by this woman, Hannah, after she had gone a wrong way with a lot of discouragements from the co-wife, Penina. A time reached and she had no choice. She went to the temple as a sign of prayer and worship. In her lowest situation, she went to worship the Lord. She went to cry to the Lord and saying, Holy, holy is the Lord. Apparently, she did not speak with a loud voice, but her, her lips could be seen, seen moving and she must have been crying. And the one who was in charge of the temple mistook her to be drunk early in the morning your worshiping and praising the lord can be mistaken but that should not prevent you to praise and worship god so i want to encourage you in times of sorrow learn to worship god 
And tell God, be very open and tell him, I don't feel like I can praise you in this time, in this situation, but because your word has said, I worship you anyway. Help my heart praise you. David, a man after God's own heart, said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. He was speaking to his soul. May you be that person who can say, Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Give him glory and honor, irrespective of what is going on. Be, hide the scene. There could be a lot of chaos, but you can say, I'm going to praise the Lord. And Lord, even when you feel so down, you can speak loud. You can even sing a praise. and You can make your own melody and say, I praise, I praise, I praise you, Jesus. I worship, I worship you, Jesus. I bow I bow before you, Lamb of God that was slain. Because verse 13 says, And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and as such as are the sea and all that are in them, I had saying, all of them, and then it says, blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and never. It is forever and never. It's not just when things are okay. It's not only on Sunday. It's only not only when you have a new job. Even when you are been served with a notice that you have been given maybe a week or you, you've been let go, especially Fridays are the, 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 the victimizing day when you are served with a letter of termination. It's always on a Friday afternoon. I don't know what happens with that. Not that I've been served, but I've seen it. So my brother, my sister, it doesn't matter what you may feel, that you, 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 your humanity may feel like things are not okay, but speak to your spirit, praise by of God. I don't feel like worshiping but because your word has said i'm gonna praise you i'm gonna give you glory and honor and then we'll see what will god do when you respect him in times of sorrow he'll come and clothe you oh be with victory and joy and peace that surpasses all human understanding let's pray father in jesus name help us to praise you to worship you to bow down before you irrespective of what could be going on I don't know whether I'm speaking this prophetically, but irrespective of all things, let your Holy Spirit touch the reminding button to our hearts, my Savior and my God, as we listen to this message, even as you continue to review more things with this word in my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You are there maybe and you're wondering, what is she talking about? Until you have established that personal relationship with the Lord, it might be hard for you to understand this. There is a burden that comes up. In actual fact, it's like before I was ordained as a pastor, you know, there are things, it is like a, a rock that was rocked. And when after the ordination, it's like something else opened up and I don't see and I don't take things the way I used to take them anymore. So it is the same thing when you accept the Lord to save you. There is another veil that is open and you see things not the way you used to see them. You see them clearly. You know yourself. Do you want to say this prayer after me for your personal relationship with the Lord? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I accept you to be my Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life and help me to walk in your ways. And that God, you may teach me how to live righteously and serving you in jesus name amen and amen if you have prayed that prayer as simple as that you've been transformed the old is gone and the new has come next step look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without compromise when you go there be uh, desire to be a person who can do something you will find there is work for you to do you can pray you can greet people you can smile yeah, because there is always work in the fine yard of our Father. May the Lord bless you. I love you and God loves you the most. Until next time, you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God from all over by dialing 605-781-3266. You can also search Word One Miracle Radio that way using your smartphone. Download the app One Word Digital Media. You'll be blessed 24-7. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people by sharing. I also want to remind you to subscribe to our channel, celebrate your moment with joy. Then that way you don't have to miss any messages if I feel to send to, the, to you personally. It costs some time. That's what I do. And uh, this is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. Go and call, run to worship the Lord all the time.